生きてるその意味を探し続けるそれが生きることさ」Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Trails from Zero. I know, I know, it's been a while, it's been almost a month. Jesus. I do apologize greatly for basically a month of accents. I've been streaming two times a week, almost all the time, because Streaming the games I was streaming basically required a little to no talking and let's play requires me to talk for almost an hour straight nonstop. Unless I like am focusing on something and the story. And as you guys saw in the last episode, I barely could do any voices. So after that almost month of rest and recovering from a virus I had, so <laughs> Yay. I haven't even been going to the gym. I was out like a light. Out, out. I mean, if you hear my earlier streams, you hear me slowly get better and better. But I still had like coughing fits, uh, going to sleep. It was still so hard, coughing so hard. I could not do any voices. So at work, I started practicing this week, like doing some random voices, with, like, you know, giving like the, this ideal, like in the food industry. Whenever I handed the food out to little kids, I do like, you know, let's say Shaggy or Stitch or Mickey. Like some of those voices just to like see if I still had it and also like see the kids smiles and the parents like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. I'm like, oh, thank you. You know, just making everyone's day like I always try to be making, trying to pay, trying to make people smile. Um, But I saw that I could do it and I'm like, all right, let's get to it. Also, if you haven't noticed, new mic settings. I do sound a lot better slowly, but surely I feel like my videos, my videos every time they get better and better in sound quality. So I am happy that I am all recovered and we can finally get back to this game. Man, I missed it. So I might be a little rusty. I'm not sure if we check this. Oh, have quite a bit of things. Okay, I want to meet privately. I'm looking for someone important. Come at once. Okay, flowers for fallen friends. Where's the special flowers to place at the grave? For details, come to the cabin next to the graveyard. Okay, I think we did see. Statewide overbook retrieval. Oh, okay, we reported this. This one's reported. This one, I can't do it. So these two. Okay. So. Let's start with the residential district. All right, I'm back to this. Back to this. It's amazing. Coming back. Uh, it's so good. Um, if I remember how to. Uh, oh, there you go. I'm like, do I remember how to do this? Oh, this? This is the house of Representative Campbell who sent the request. Searching for someone important, right? It sounded like the representative was freaking out. Hey, doesn't Bob was at least grabs live around these parts? You know, to happen to this Campbell guy? Well, about as much as fellow neighbors would know each other. Representative Campbell is an ambitious man. So driven by his passion for politics that he often brushes aside anything else. I see. That matches the way I had envisioned him in my head. Either way, he's requesting our assistance, so let's try asking about if he's home. About if he's home. Oh, I just opened the door now. Uh where? here but search search in case there is something i know i'm nosy but 
you know explore everything oh this is uh, i'll talk to you in a second sir let me just ruffle through things what are you doing absolutely nothing sir don't preoccupy yourself believable what a foolish thing to do let's find a way to retrieve her representative campbell uh, excuse me gentlemen we're here regarding the support request ah you're the cpd's something or other section relief i'm so desperate that we'd be willing to scrape the bottom of the barrel for assistance just a moment ago just a moment you're not ellie they're mcdowell's granddaughter have you come with them it's been some time representative as it stands i'm currently employed by the cpd i visit you as a member of the sss today is that the case so be it hmm. suppose the mayor is neutral i do be concerned about that representative imperial factious county members rely on underhanded tactics if they can't witch and what if they catch wind of this incident some things never change guessing you're in a position that could cause some political strife up mausolees speaking with diet members already so is always such a pain excuse me representative campbell could you tell us what happened at least what details you're able to share about the situation it's just you look troubled so i seem to recall the support by seeking assistance and searching for an important person yes that's right See, I've run into a bit of a snack. I suppose I have no choice but to explain the situation to you. But let me make one thing clear to you. This, politically sen this is a politically sensitive matter. The Republican faction has been placed into a difficult situation. This must remain strictly confidential. Understood. I promise to keep this under wraps. Sarah remained silent about the investigation, Representative. Very well, then. Listen up. A certain person affiliated with our faction has disappeared. Huh? Could you elaborate? She happens to be my very own daughter. She has run away from home along with our maid. Uh. All that fuss just to end up telling us his daughter ran away. My daughter, are you referring to Carla? Her classmates in Sunday school. Ah, really? Well, the representative is his and his daughter have never been on particularly good terms. The relationship seemed to be entirely comprised of petty arguments. However, the timing couldn't be worse. In supporter, Heiwei, was raided this morning with the aftermath and cumbersome. <laughs> that utterly foolish daughter of mine will only leave her to her own devices during a hectic period like this. However, recent reports have shown the Mafia's spats becoming more dangerous. Far too dangerous to leave two girls wandering around on their own. I'd be worried about your daughter's well-being if I were you too. Not only that, but if this were to become public publicized, the Imperial faction could use this as ammunition against me. We can let our guards down during the diet. I would prefer to avoid any scandals. With that, I request you, SSS, discreetly apprehend and return my daughter to me. It all comes down to protecting his reputation, then. Because that's just how these big boogs think. I already assumed as much. Well, it's clear that you're concerned for her. There is a fair chance she might be in harm's way, after all. Agreed. Understand the situation, sir. We'll accept your request to search for your daughter. Oh, thank you, Adios. Bring her back immediately. Can't promise we'll able to do it quickly we'll locate your daughter and provide protection until we're, we've safely brought her home very well i'll rely on you for the time being proceed however you'd like I believe his daughter left a note in her room a note may prove useful to our your investigation thank you for letting us know we'll take a look at it then Quest search for an important person started. Remember to hydrate, guys. My Gemini audio says hydrate, don't dehydrate. Oh, here it is. Like she left her message in this notebook. 
see what it says. I've had enough of you and your insistence on only doing as you please. But now I shall do as I please. Goodbye, Carla. Yes, I'm taking the maid with me. Knowing you, you'll surely go hungry with no one else here to prepare your meals. Wow. Where do we even begin? Dad's a real piece of work, but his daughter seems like trouble in her own way. And a Campbell is the type to put his work ahead of his home life. Now that I think about it, Carla would often complain about her father in Sunday school. I'd be surprised if a falling out caused her to run away from home. However, the note fails to provide a clue about where we should begin the search. The only detail given was that she ran away from home by her own volition. Based on her note, I think it'd be fair to assume something. So... This is just, like, sudden. I don't think it was planned. I think she suddenly ran away from home. She must have ran, a, ran away unexpectedly. Billy mentioned a sudden falling out may have caused her to run away. Pretty angry too, based on the note. I would consider that a reasonable deduction. I figured she planned this whole thing. I hope the note would have been longer and filled with more resentment. How long ago did you think she ran away from home? I hope it hasn't been too long. The search would be more difficult. She's gone far. It's impossible for us to tell the information we have at the time. Let's try to get some more information from the representative before we come to any conclusions. Well, it's time to get out of the shovels and start digging up some dirt. We should return here and go over the details once we've finished. Alright. Ask the representative. In the diet meeting in the Heio incident this morning, I was absolutely exhausted. More appointments in the afternoon, so I came to rest at home for a bit. I did. I couldn't find my daughter or her maid anywhere, so it was this morning. I just was beginning to think something was amiss. Found her note. Like she's the defiant type. I doubt he'd have any ideas to where she would go. Prisoner Campbell runs a strict household. For instance, look for small rules like having everybody to eat breakfast together. It's actually quite obvious that his daughter despises such triviality. Kitty nature could very well be the cause of their stranger relationship. Despite that, she still adhered to his rule and joined him for breakfast. By purpose of such knowledge, and breakfast is done, of course. So we have information. I return to Carla's room and continue to analyze for further clues. Yeah, good plan, Teo. Can we not get any more? Yeah, he is more concerned about his career, so... Alright. How long ago did you think she ran away from home? And two... Okay. Question. Another representative told us they probably left... Probably this morning. Present for breakfast, but she had left by the afternoon. I have to conclude that she departed sometime in the afternoon... In the morning. We should still be able to catch up with her. Oh, don't know where the hell she ran off to, though. We should ask her friends. Could be they got a clue or two for us. Oh, I don't think we have the time for that. Under the circumstances, definitely a place she would have visited. No, she left this morning without having planned to. Considering that, one place in particular she likely had to visit first. Oh! Okay, without a plan... You just go to the bank, right? Hey, she may have gone to the IBC. Makes sense to me. Escapee probably needed some dough for a getaway. IBC is a pretty typical first stop for running away from home. She suddenly left, then she wouldn't have had much time to pack. The IBC is certainly a possibility. I agree. Can we depart for the IBC then? She may still be there. Yeah, let's get there ASAP. Right. On to the IBC. Okay, you guys are having a great day.
Who would I talk to? Oh. There we go. All right, we made it. Man, I always feel like we're stepping into a whole other, much more impressive world. I presume the representative's runaway daughter may have stopped here. Shall we inquire with the receptionist? Yes, let's ask Wanfei to see if she knows anything about it. Is her name Wanfei? Oh, yes, it is. Hello again, Miss McDowell. Do you need help of anything? Hi, Lanfei. I'm just here to ask you a quick question. Did a lady by the name of Carla stop by here today? I think she may have been here well made. Oh, you're quite right. Carla did come in earlier. She told me she had an urgent business to discuss with Miss Croix. With Belle? Yes, Miss Croix agrees to a meeting the director Carla up to the top floor. It all happened about an hour ago. Wow. Mind if we ask Maribel, Maribel for some details? We're told we're conducting, we're conducting an investigation. Oh yes, I think you should be okay to, to talk with her right now. At least she's currently in the CEO's office. Thank you very much. All right, let's get cracking. All right, off to the team floor. She's in the representative office. CEO's office, sorry. Here she is. Bell! So sick of this. Meetings all day thanks to those refosh of us phones. Fortunately enough, I don't think their little raid will affect our stock prices negatively. I almost want to kick down their door and demand compensation for the hassle they, they put me through. My life never seems to get any easier. Say that again. Help that father is who knows how many sells away right now either. Oh, but I digress. Did you need something, Ellie? Changed by the crowd you brought with. Doesn't seem like a personal issue. Yes, there's something I need to ask you, pal. A woman named Carla should have stopped by the IBC earlier today. Did you happen to see her? Carla. Oh, yes, she definitely came here not too long ago. I'm acquainted with her, so that we're both in the upper echelons of society. She claimed that she had an emergency and wished to speak with me directly. She proceeded to withdraw every last mirror out of her savings account. Damn. We're right on the money. She have to speak directly to you for that, Maribel. I think the receptionist would have been able to handle her request just fine. It has to do with the amount she withdrew. Under normal circumstances, we'll need to fill out the appropriate paperwork. Today was an exception. As you might be able to summarize, unable to disclose the exact amount she withdrew. That said, it was in the hundreds of thousands of Mira. Jeez. That is an exorbitant amount of money. The truth is, Carla is attempting to run away from home, but tasked with bringing her back safely. You know where she might have gone, Belle? Oh, well, I would explain her rash behavior. Well, judging by the amount she withdrew, would assume she's planning to relocate to a foreign country? That could be it. It's possible she had a destination in mind. Think about it. Recall a conversation between her and her maid about sightseeing in Grand Cell. I believe Carla ordered her maid to make hotel reservations there. So, that liberal's capital? So she's dishing this joint for a liberal. She must have departed for the airport then. We may be able to arrive in time if we proceed with haste. We must notify the airport's receptionist. Right, we have to hurry. We're sorry to bother you. We appreciate your co cooperation. See you later, Belle. Sure. Off we go. Sure know how to keep us busy. How to keep busy. Yes, we do. All right. Get on to the airport. Ah, oh, God. 
All right. We've been to the airport. Can we teleport? Is it Ursula Road? Yes, it is. I completely forgot. Who I talked to? Not you. Oh, you. Okay. Perfect. Excuse me. Do you have a moment? We have a bit of an emergency. Oh, dear. What is it? You see, an individual by the name of Carla Campbell should have boarded an ongoing flight to Liberal. We're wondering, has that airship finished boarding yet? That Carlo Campo? Just give me a moment, please. I'm terribly sorry, but Carlo Campo was enlisted as a passenger. What? Are you positive? Strange. I just wondered that she. Flight. Me too. There's only one flight scheduled today that's heading for a liberal, right? Correct. And it seems it has not departed yet. Heard of me. Oh! You it. You're the police, aren't you? The maid. Wait, are you Marsha? One of the maids of Representative Campbell's mansion? Are you the maid that ran away with Carla? Yes, that's right. You see, Lady Carla never intended to go to Liberal in the first place. It was merely a rumor she spread to throw her father off her tracks. In actuality, she plans to live in the home of an acquaintance in the Republic. What? She's going to Calvert? Crap! You must have gone to the station then! If you hurry, you might make it in time. I'm sorry my lady has caused so much trouble for everyone. But if at all possible, please bring Lady Carla back home. Despite what she said, she doesn't really want to leave Crossbell. So she's got her reasons for all of this, huh? Well, time to roll. We'll bring her back for you. Don't you worry. She's Republic bound. The train will be departing in a matter of minutes. There's no time to waste then. Oh, God. Thanks, Marsha. You're a big help. Marsha, could you inform the representative of what's happened? You can... Leave bringing Carla back to us. Okay. Please, I'm leaving Lady Carla in your hands. Okay. I mean, the, the, the train station is here too, right? Yes, it is. Here. Uh. Try this first. Right here first. Yes! Platform 1, the train bound for the Republic is now departing. If you are not boarding the train, then please step back to the center of the platform. Oh, no, no, no. Wait a second. Isn't the train the representative's daughter supposed to be on? You can still make it. Let's get on. Oh, God. Oh. And we're bound for the Republic. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, do we have to search for her? I believe so. Cut that close. I wonder if we'll get in trouble for not following protocol. Officers should be allowed to board trains during emergencies, so... I don't have to worry about that. However, the problem remains. What do we do now? That was to convince Carla to return home, correct? Yeah, well, we can't ride on this train forever, you know. We still gotta drop off those drugs at St. Ursula, ain't that right? It's true. We have not come this far to simply give up. I agree. Yeah, I know. Stop his altar. Leave it at the western edge of Calvert. 
should have about 30 minutes then let's keep to persuade her to come home roger i'm no quitter all right i hope our words can get through to her no woman alone here here oh that her carla hey finally found her now we just have to persuade her to return home odds of her listening to reason still seem slim better trying than not trying tell me you should miss the train I'm alone now can i handle this Long time no see, Carla. Ellie? What are you? I mean, what a coincidence running into you here. Are these your friends? Oh, are you planning to spend a day or two in the Republic? <laughs> well, Carla, how should I say? Uh, no. Came to take you home, no. Uh, we're on a trip to the Republic. Yes, exactly. I thought it'd be fun to see the Republic's National Orchestra over everyone. Let's get her to open up first. Don't, like, immediately spring that up on her. No, 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 no. Let's ease things into it. Really? We can accompany each other until we arrive at the Republican capital. I'm so thankful I run into you and Lee. Truth be told, I'm feeling a bit down. I'm all alone on this giant train and... I lowered her guard. Perfect. Good job. Good job. See? Exactly are you here, Carla? Well, it's a long story. Father always always ordering me around, filling my life with rules and more rules. Once he doesn't even respect himself. This morning was a perfect example of it. I'll never forgive him for what he did. Which was Where it was, it sounds bad. After breakfast? He walked into my room without knocking. Huh? That's it? Of course it's not just that. What if I was changing? More importantly, I was the one always lecturing me about how I should always knock. Even, even though he throws a fit when I forget to do so. This morning, he calmly strode into my room, commanding me to do this and that, and to attend a dinner party in the evening. And, and... He pries into every single small detail into my private life. It's like he can't do anything but that. I can relate with how she feels, but this is nothing more than a misunderstanding between father and daughter. How should we handle this? Father is to blame. Yes, don't blame it on her. We need her guard lower. Father is in the wrong. Sympathize with you, Carla. Think so too. I knew leaving home was the right decision. No, the first time I've ever left Crossbell. Uh, and I said it to go through. This plan was because Marcia said she'd accompany me. I think I get the gist of this mess, but she still looks hesitant, right? She never had the strongest heart to begin with. I'm sure, she ran out of the house in a hurry, but. With every step, she became more and more uneasy. She should almost hit a breaking point. It's dangerous to travel alone. Have this. Your father is worried about you. No. I think you're worried too. Uh, out of everything, that sounds the best. I wonder why I still hadn't seen Marsha. No! She must have betrayed me, didn't she? Unacceptable. I specifically ordered her not to tell anyone. He's calm down, Carla. Oh, that was a... I'm sure that Marsha informed us of the situation. That's only because she's worried sick about your safety. Despite what she says, she doesn't really want to leave Crossbell. Her words, not mine. Marsha, she really said that? I'm leaving Lady Carla in your hands. Her farewell before... We made our way to the station to find you. Well, I think it'd be best if you had another talk with your pops. They're running away. 
Don't feel better to say what you want to say to his face? You may be right. I started to think that there was no one at my side. If Marsh is waiting for me, I don't mind returning home. Um, everyone, perhaps you could stay with me a bit longer and let me get everything out of my system? Besides, I need to start thinking about what I should say to Father. Sure, we can do that. We should be near Altair, but we still have to ri the right back. If you want company, we'd be glad to apply. Alright, then we have company back. Blood and the others transferred in Altair for a return trip. Then, 30 minutes later. We are back. That was a nice train, right? Hey, here's the gang and Carla. <sighs> We're finally back. That was a long trip in more ways than one. I'm sorry for the trouble I've caused. I truly thank you for listening to what I had to say. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. Just say we can't handle consultations. Count on the SSS to lend you an ear whenever you need it. <laughs> thank you. Ah. Her maid? Oh, and her dad. <laughs> don't you worry me at a time like this, you daft girl. Speak for yourself, father. You had to try to come find me yourself. It would have been one thing. You think you hired other people to do it for you? Oh. Excuse me, Lady Carla. My apologies. I was just so terribly worried. <laughs> you should be. Sorry. I'm upset with you too, Marcia. Forgive me. But, well, I'm grateful too. Can I count on you to continue to be by my side? Of course, I'd be happy to. Thank heavens. I think I've finally made up my mind. I have some conditions, father. You must knock every time you wish to enter my room. Every time, okay? Condition, you may no longer intrude upon my private life. If you refuse, I'll be hopping right back on the train and I won't look back. I have to stay home and behave yourself for a while first. Are you honoring my request or are you refusing it? Fine. We'll be worried or have another falling out. Accept your terms. Well, this is the power of the something or other section. For the time being, allow me to thank you for safely bringing my daughter home. However, not a word of this incident is to escape your lips to anyone. Am I understood? You got it. Lips are sealed, so you can rest easy. Good. We're leaving, Carla. <laughs> Don't you tell me what to do. Ellie, everyone, until we meet again, I can't thank you all enough for all you've done. Um, please feel free to drop by our house whenever you'd like. I'll welcome you with open arms. With them, bow deeply. Off they go. That settles that. Even though that took forever, but we helped them out. Judging by their conversation, I think they will work things out. What a relief. You're right. I pray they'll be able to work out their differences. Anyway, Lloyd, we should get going now. There's still some requests we can finish up today. Yeah, good point. Let's get to it then. Search for an important person. Complete it! Alright. Okay, so... Oh, there's a book. You? Uh. Oh! Yes! Alright, all I knew there was a book here in the station. The special support section. Oh, Quattro! Oh, well, Quattro. 
But it has. Thank you again for the last time, everyone. I'm going to perform a cheating inspection on platform two. Are you on the way to Calvert? Yeah. Got a business trip? Oh, you better go to work then. I think those who put in the most effort are the ones who will find the most success in life. Yes, indeed. Oh, look what we have here. They got their hands on Reinford Company weaponry. The wrong way. Does Ravash do it? Not even the CGF are able to buy these heavy machine guns. I don't know. Wait, did he just step off the train that came in from the Republic? Had to make one day trips out of state. Really busy. <laughs> well, we didn't have much of a choice considering their support requests. So you're here. There been any developments in the rain investigation? Actually, found that not too long ago, some dangerous stuff was smuggled into the state from Erebonia. Oh. What dangerous are we talking about? Some, uh, some of those Reinford made heavy machine guns used in the raid, so very. Ash must have planned the raid very, very well in advance. Ready. Figures. That's how they got their guns. But despite their careful planning, AUA still managed to drive them into a corner. Exactly. This what strikes me as odd. The supposedly premeditated, premeditated raid, the performance was rather lackluster. We need to keep in that inconsistency in mind as we continue to investigate. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. All right. Now, let's get to the other quests. Let's go. All right. Arrived here, the cathedral. Close to the cemetery, I believe. Oh. Here? This? Yes, this is. Mr. Grunt, sorry to bother you. The police? That's right, sir. We're coming for the special support section, coming about your request. Hmm. Well then, I want you to try bring me three different kinds of flowers to place in the graves. There'd be any chance you could take this request on for me right now? Yeah. We can't start right away, sir. Got to hear it. We'll get straight to the point. Pen and paper on you. I'll tell you which flowers you need to collect. First one. Yes. Yo, mind writing it down? Roger. First, leave us flower. Find them blooming near the police academy on West Crossbell Highway. Second, we have the Requiem flower. The police college general store on West Street sells them. Probably the final flower. Of that watchtower near Crossbells East Sussex, usually the foot of it. And okay, they tend to bloom near similar flowers too, so be careful not to overlook them. But you're done. I should bring them all to be. Noted. I ask why you specifically want these three flowers. Yellow, blue, and white symbolize the response of the soul here in Crossbell. How does this color arrange into bouquets which are traditionally offered to in funerals? Is that the language of flowers thing? I believe this is slightly different from choreography, Randy. I assume they are meant to reflect Crossbell state colors. The tricolor bouquet was offered at Guy's funeral, too. Um, sir? What's up? You suddenly went quiet. Well, it's just that I'm a bit disappointed that your generation is so unaware of these old traditions. What do you expect to face the future without knowing our, your roots? Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I ain't even from Crossbill to begin with. Fine, then. So what to do? Off you go. Understood. Okay. 
All right, um, since we're right by Crossbow, I think it's best to just head into Tally's General Stone and get that. West Street. Go to Tally's. Be simple. I'm the Tally's General Store. For anything in particular? Yes, we're actually looking for some Requiem flowers. Hmm. <clears throat> see, did Mr. Quinn sent you? How do you know? That's right. Did he tell you that we'd be coming? No need to. He's one of our only customers to buy these flowers from us. Him and a sparse few others, devoted individuals. But here, just a sec. I'm sure we have some behind the counter somewhere. <sighs> I thought we were going to have to pay it for, for a second. I mean, the old man didn't exactly give us any mirror. I don't know. It didn't strike me as the kind of person to pull something over on us like that. Perhaps, but still would have been nice to receive a little more information about the request. Suppose that's true. They told us the location of the flowers. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, pardon me? Is something wrong? Sorry, but it looks like we're out of stock on those requiem flowers. Of course. Of course it can't be that easy. Why would it be that easy? All out. Our luck. Again, I'm terribly sorry. Would you mind waiting for a bit? Ask the bracer girl if they could pick some up for me. Bracers? Suppose they would be the ones to ask. Wait, why don't we go pick the flowers ourselves? Hell yeah. Well, the bracers suck up all the glory, well, we can do it, no sweat. I second that. Like we're on the same page. Our cells will be much more efficient than waiting on them anyway. Excuse me, do you happen to know where requiem flowers grow? I see. You plan to get them yourselves? You should find some blooming on the edge of Mines Mountain Path. Halfway down the branching roads, at least to those old ruins, if I recall. Thanks. Go ahead and try looking for them. Wonderful. More apologies for the inconvenience. Make sure to give Mr. Quaint my regards. We will. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's uh, go. Well. Already here. This academy is to the west. Oh. So, let's go. And go there. Um, oh, this academy. Down here. Oh, like that again. I don't even fight it, I think. Go. Get out of the way. I need to I need to start looking for flowers. I was not looking at all. Oh. Leave us flowers. The yellow ones leave us flowers we've been looking for. Probably a real pain for regular folk to pick them because of the location. Yeah. It is right in front of the police academy. Given how far apart these flower beds are scattered through a crossbow fairly difficult to gather a three-color bouquet. So our most graves today are decorated with a single type of flower. Three-color bouquets are usually safe for funeral services. Huh? Or something new every day. Traditions must face reality eventually. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yep. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, so East Crossbell does have building hopefully this is it and down here nope it's not down here and up here are these it these are it okay final flowers these white ones are the final flowers aren't they 
Location is fairly close to Crossbell City, so I imagine people frequently come by to pick them. Yeah, doubt any strong monster is chilling at a place like this. Regardless, weaker monsters are still a threat to children and the elderly. True enough. Shall we get going? All right, on to the next location, which should be the Mines Mountain Path to get that towards the Moon Temple. So, let's head on there. Okay, so it's down here. Sorry, I had to defeat a monster real quick. Requiem flower. These are these blue ones are requiem flowers, right? That took us ages to find. I know, right? Imagine how hard it would have been if I would have how hard it would have blown if there weren't any here. Oh no, you two. The flowers were here, so it was worth it, right? Yeah. We got the job done and that's what counts. Right. All right. So, back to the cemetery we go. All right. At least we're back here. And this quest didn't take as long as the other ones, so pretty simple and quick quest. Hopefully. We're back, Mr. Quint. Hmm. That's a little unexpected. You got the flowers. Yes. Please to make sure we got the right ones. Hopefully. Give us flower. Requiem flower. Painful flowers. The ones are right. Efforts are much appreciated, special support section. Just doing our job, sir. Man, getting all those flowers took way more work than I was expecting. Even tallies had run out. What are the odds of that? Well, we still managed. Sir, may I ask you something? What is it? Not particularly common to gather these three specific flowers except for funerals nowadays what exactly did you need them for right but there's no funeral at the moment well since you helped me pick them come with me and we'll go to the place to go place them together look at your answers afterwards it's gonna be his wife right i'm gonna be so sad it's gonna be his wife what is he talking about it's me we'll just see when we get there to be his wife oh it is i feel July saya mclean mclean that's his wife on to the next one oh This one's seen better days. Did we make gals whose name was on whose name's on it? Perhaps the gravekeeper knows. The last one. Who's that guy? Uh, there lies Guy Banning. This is who I think it is. It's older brother. The reason I see to gather these three flowers is pretty simple. But I'll give them to Guy Bannings and to the families of those that were precious to him. It's only natural to want to show respect to one's closest friends, right? Sir, did you know Guy Bannings? That's right. I could forget him even if I tried. But when he was alive, he often came to visit me in my cabin. He shared drinks and tell stories till the sun rose. How many family left, you see? So I can't tell you how many times this company saved this old man. I had no idea. I'm starting to understand the nature of this support request. Came time for his funeral. But like I was torn to trust. It was Lloyd, right? He must be Guy's younger brother. You know who I am? I first catching a glimpse of you at your brother's funeral. I saw that picture of you in the Crossbell Times four months ago. It jogged my memory. Faces aren't anything light, but I'm sort of see the resemblance. <laughs> I don't think I'm anywhere near him yet when it comes to being a detective, though. Wait. Actually, there's another reason why I submitted such an annoying job to the SSS. And to ascertain firsthand whether you four, my successors, have grown any. 
Tend. Did we make the grade? Well, we finished the job, so that's something. However, you're still rough around the edges. Yeah. A bit harsh, don't you think? <laughs> that said, I think the special support section has a bright future ahead. There's a chance you all catch up to, or even maybe overtake Guy one day. If that happens, come back here and pay me a visit. Make sure some drinks, the same as I do with Guy. Alright, I'm looking forward to it. Older brother lives on through a lot of these a lot of people, doesn't he? I agree. Well. Catching up to a guy that talented ain't the easiest thing in the world. It'll take quite a while, I bet. Honestly, that goal might end up being a bigger barrier than taking down the Mafia or Crossbell's corruption, you know? Yeah, you said it. Yet, we'll surpass him someday. We have to. I've talked your ears off, and I head back inside. Thanks to you, I was able to pay my respect to my dear friends. Thank you enough for that. If something else ever comes up, make sure to contact you. I'll be waiting. Bye, sir. Flowers for fallen friends completed. It's amazing. I wonder who's. Was this? This. Where's the other one that had the. It is too much. Do you know? I just noticed you inspecting that grave. Parts of the marker where there should be a name have broken and crumbled for as long as I can remember. But whose grave could it be? Do we not have a gravekeeper? Guess it's gonna tie into the story. If it's a spoiler, don't tell me anyone. Please do not. All right, but I think we're gonna leave this episode here, and in the next one, we're gonna continue onward with the story. Ah, so hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you have, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me in my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. I also do have a voice acting channel, so if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description below as well and in the end screen coming right up. And see you guys in the next video. So, take care, guys. Bye bye.